What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic Operation Goliath. Devante Tank Davis versus Mario Azteca Barrios. The pre fight analysis. Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. On the block with the pole, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? Pretty bitch, show me titties, huh? And I got the glitch, you gonna pull me, I'ma make you get it. I'ma make you get it. Okay, boxing fans, let's talk some boxing. Alright, so, uh. As you know, uh. Tonight is the fight between Devante Davis and, uh. Elastica Barrios. Okay, now this is the fight it's gonna be at uh, 140, uh, 140 pounds. Uh, it's a junior welterweight fight for the super uh, lightweight or junior welterweight world championship. Now, uh, this should be an interesting fight. Okay, Davis uh, is, you know, Many people will say it's make it's taking a, a a step up in this fight against a guy like Barrios, who's a hundred and forty pounder. Uh, if you remember the last fight that Davis had was at a hundred and uh, uh, thirty pounds. Okay, uh, he fought at uh he fought at super featherweight against uh, uh Cruz. So. Uh, this fight is 140 pounds, so that's a you know that's a considerable jump. But as you know, uh, usually uh, Javante fights at lightweight, and he's you know he, historically he's had problems making that weight. So you know, I guess he's really naturally his best weight is probably 140 pounds. But anyway, uh, this guy Barrios is fighting pretty tall kid, you know, a lot taller than uh, Javante Davis, you know, longer reach. Uh, I saw this kid fight a couple of times. Uh, he seems to have the fundamentals. Uh, you know, he's a pretty strong kid. He can take a punch. Uh, so, you know, he sits down and hits punches, you know. Uh, so he's, he's not as quick as he could be. I mean, he's pretty quick, but, I, you know, I think maybe Davis might be quicker than him. And I, I'm thinking that... Uh, even though, uh, uh, even though uh, Barrios has you know some fundamentals down, he does make some mistakes that I think you know like might get him caught by a, a quick thinking fighter in there. Like he drops his hands sometimes, you know, uh, uh, he, his hands is down low sometimes, you know. So he he he, he does kind of slip, you know, make some little slips there. And if you're a quick thinking fighter, you know, you can take advantage of those little mistakes that he make, you know, and I'm thinking that Davis, you know, uh, should be able to take uh, advantage of those uh, little mistakes that Barry is going to make, uh, okay, but then again, uh, in the last two fights, you know, we saw Davis in, uh, he didn't really look that spectacular, I mean, he knocked out Cruz, but I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, he went the distance, uh, you know, with that other kid that he fought. So, I mean, Davis, um, yeah, he's been looking okay. Let's just say that, okay? I mean, he was supposed to knock Cruz out, and he knocked Cruz out, okay? But it took him a little while, uh, you know, and Cruz was touching him up there a little bit. So... You know, this kid here, I, I mean, you know, I'm thinking that Davis should, you know, should be able to use, you know, uh, good defense on him, but you never know because this kid, I mean, he has long reach. You know, he has good power. He sits on his punches. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe if he sit down on one of his punches and he connect with, uh, you know, I mean, Davis has good defense, but he's not exactly a defensive wizard. I mean, he didn't display that against... Uh, you know, Cruz, but maybe he might do that against this guy because this guy's a bigger puncher, but 
still, I mean, you know, so it's not it's not out of the realm of possibility that this guy virus can touch touch Davis. And I think if he touch Davis, he, he might hurt him, you know, because like I said, this guy sits on his punches and he got pretty good power. So it's conceivable that he can catch Davis, you know, uh, again, now this guy has longer reach than Davis. Davis going to have to be coming in on him to get on the inside. You know, it's all going to be a, 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 Davis is at a big disadvantage with the reach and height advantage that this kid has over him. So, you know, uh, it's, it's going to be an uphill battle. You know, unless uh, David can get on the inside quick and take advantage of the little mistakes that this guy make, like I told you about, and just, you know, connect and, and take him out. You know what I mean? So that's what it's going to have to be, you know? Or uh, else, well, if it's going to be a boxing match, and they're going to be boxing all night, uh, and this this is going to go the distance, this is going to be a tough fight for David because this kid has all the advantages, and David's going to have to work hard to try and get on the inside. And if he has to do that all night for 12 rounds, it's going to be a difficult fight. So, uh, you know, it's to his advantage to, you know, to make it a short night. That is David. Now, whether he can do that or not is going to be a whole other story because, like I said, this kid, you know, uh, he, he looked like, you know, he's not a bad, I mean, he's not the best boxer in the world. Let's, let's just say that, but he's a strong kid. He comes forward, okay? He has some fundamentals down, okay? But like I said, he does make a few little rookie mistakes I see him making, you know, uh, when he fights. Uh, sometimes he drops his hand for no reason. For what I don't, I don't really understand why he does it. But you know, like if he gets surprised with a shot or something, you know, he drops his hand. Like you know, maybe that's maybe I, when I saw that was just a one-time thing. I don't know. But anyway, uh, it should be an interesting fight to see where Davis is at and to see where this kid is at because it looks like he's been getting groomed. You know, and uh, I think that this fight for both of them is the right fight at the right time. Okay, so it's just going to be have to be up to, you know, one of them to you know, to, to separate himself from the other and, uh, and and get this win. Okay, so this should be an interesting fight. Uh, who's going to win? Again, it depends. I mean, if Davis goes in there and gets on the inside quick, and you know, make it a short night, you know, by taking advantage of some of the mistakes that this kid makes and, 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 and you know, knocks him out, then yeah, it's gonna be a good short night for Davis and that's the way, you know, uh, the fight needs to go for Davis. But Davis would have to get inside on the inside. He have to, you know, get on the inside quick. Not, you know, uh, mess around all night on the outside trying to get in. He has to be able to get on the inside quickly. The kid, you know, uh, I don't know what style he's going to come with, if he's going to come after Davis right away, but if he does, that should be to Davis' advantage. That way Davis can get the inside, okay? And, you know, Davis should be able to take him out and make it a quick night. But if Davis can't do that, which I don't think, I, I don't know if Davis going to be able to do that. So then, you know, the other option is that Davis is going to have to, you know, try to get in, you know, be careful, box, try to get in range, you know, and that could be a, a whole long night type of thing, you know, and that's not going to be good for Davis, you know, because, again, you know, uh, this kid, you know, with the long arms, the good, a good height advantage, decent boxing skills, uh, he could make it a tough night for Davis, you know, and, you know, uh, and I, I think if he hit, if he sits down one of those punches and, and connects with Davis, which I which I don't think is out of the realm of possibility, that he can connect, then you know Davis is going to be in a lot of trouble, and we could see an upset. Okay, and I'm not saying that's you know that's what's going to happen, but I'm thinking it, it's possible that it could happen. You know, but I mean, you know, the odds should be you know like you know I'm leaning towards Davis. You know, but uh, I'm not going to count this kid out. I think that he has the possibility. You know, to you know he have the necessary tools to get the upset, okay? And so, Davis is gonna be a, have to be on his P's and Q's in this fight. Uh, it might be a short night for him, short, shorter than he expected in the, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the wrong way. But uh, we're gonna have to, you know, see in the fight, but it should be an interesting fight, and, you know, the best man should win. So, we'll see what happens, uh, you know, when the fight plays out. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for right now. I'm not going to make this a long one. Uh, this is just, you know, a pre-fight analysis. I'm going to be doing the live, you know, uh, uh, fight coverage 
uh tonight so look out for that i didn't put up the, the, the uh the, you know the, the promo yet but i'm gonna put it up i'm gonna be doing the the pre-fight and uh, the live fight reaction with the barrios fight and with the uh barrios davis and with the lomachenko nakatani fight so look out for that all right and make sure you got make sure you people show up there and uh make some comments but anyway uh that's all i have for right now i'm gonna leave this here uh davis versus barrios should be a great fight looking forward to seeing it see where davis is at right now see if you can you know, take the necessary uh, step up and uh, and see what he's going to be doing at 140 pounds. Yeah, so uh, good luck to both guys. This is TBE Boxing saying make sure you show your like and subscribe to the channel. TBE Boxing, that's all I have for right now. I'm out.